There's a new trend in Japan known as eyeball licking. <laughs> awesome. Or worming. That's another way that they refer to it. That sounds even better. Yeah. So one person uh, stretches the eyelids out uh, so another individual can lick the eyeball. Of course. Yes. <laughs> Here's where I would stop. So it's like, hey, could you stretch out your eyelids in the middle of us making out? Like, yeah, I'm going to go with no on that one. <laughs> I mean, it gives new meaning to licking his balls, right? Oh! <laughs> I hadn't thought of that, but I suppose it would. <laughs> right back at you, all I right. I love when I get a joke right. <laughs> okay, okay, good. Bless your heart. Uh, now, it, it, I read it in Japan, it's considered second base, right? So you make out first, and then the second thing you do. Now, of course, not every time. Don't get me wrong, and not for everybody, yeah. but for the people who are doing this, and apparently a lot of people are doing it. It's a real phenomenon because people start showing up with pink eye. Like there was a rash of pink eyes because you're not supposed to lick the eyeball. First of all, your mouth is one of the dirtiest parts of your body, and then if you put it on an eyeball, of course, it's gonna go wrong. Of course, but it's, so it's second base. They're like, okay, well, first we make How out. How did that even come about? I mean, I, I want to know the history of worming because I've, I've never heard of this until I read the story today, but it never even crossed my mind. You see what well, I'm saying? Well, it's never crossed anyone's mind outside of Japan. Okay, Japan, there's a lot of things crossing people's minds that don't cross it in other S places. So, Irina, uh, Irina and I had a discussion about eyeball licking. And she actually has uh, some commentary on this. That's oh, a little really? that's a little surprising, I must say. I must say. So Irina, come to the mic. Please share your thoughts. Okay, and, and by the way, of course I'm kidding. I, I don't know, it could be happening in other countries. I sure hope it isn't. But our Romanian correspondent joins us now. Uh, well, what I said to Anna is really eyeball licking. I mean, our eyeball is the worst thing that people lick, you know, when they do nasty things in bed. I don't think they are. So I don't see it as a like a really gross, uh, I don't know, weird thing. So you believe tossing the salad is worse? Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was with the things here. Jesus. What? I'm, I'm doing my investigative journalism right now. Oh, is that right? Yes. That's what we're calling it? Yeah. <laughs> no, okay, I hear you, but I, have you heard of eyeball licking? Is that something that that's happens outside of Japan? No, but when I think of other stuff that people lick, I just find it grosser than, you know, like it's okay. Oh, all right, but what if it's being done to you? If somebody said to you, hey, I'd like to either A, lick your armpit, or B, lick your eyeball, which would you rather go for? I <laughs> I'd go with armpit, probably. I feel, yeah, like, probably. I feel like it'd be yeah. a little uncomfortable to have someone lick my eyeball. Yeah. Um, but, uh, but you're going to get sick if they lick your eyeball. I mean, there's yeah. some chance you're going to get pink eye, it's a, so it's pretty bad. Yeah. Um, and so I wouldn't go there. Yes, and and I some you. people will make the comparison to people who have like a foot fetish, for instance, and it's like, well, so guys with a foot fetish like to put feet in their mouth, you uh -huh. know? And, and so is that like more sanitary or what? But I, I don't know. Look, to each his own, if you're into I it. I mean, are you going to get pink foot? <laughs> no, you're not, but, but you know, someone's feet might be dirty. Some no, guys no. might be into that, whatever. No, no, I hear you, to each his own. And, and one of the women who was asked about this says she really gets a huge kick out of it, that it feels funky. Now, I don't want people trying it at home just because yeah, you know, she I, says Yeah, I want to read her quote. I thought it was interesting. She says, my boyfriend started licking my eyeballs uh, years ago, <laughs> and I just loved it. And she's a 29-year-old environmental science student from the U.S. Virgin Islands. She also continues to say, I'm not with him anymore, but I still like to ask guys to lick my eyeballs. I just love it because it turns me on, like sucking on my toes. It makes me feel all tingly. Interesting. And look, that's from the Virgin Islands, not from Japan. Mm -hmm. um, Anna, if a guy said... And you know, you, you like him, it's been going well, and it's like, sure. I'd like to lick your eyeballs. No. I'm not, because I'm not going to get, the only way that I would let someone do something kinky to me is if it, it doesn't make me uncomfortable and um, it's, it's not going to harm someone, right? Okay, so, but what if he said, okay, you know what? Like physically uncomfortable, that would make me physically, I'm not going to enjoy it at all. You right. see what I'm saying? But so what no. if he, you really like the guy, you've been dating him for a while, and he's like, look, I'm going to tell you this is my fetish. Remember, you're okay with the furries and everything, yeah, right? Yeah, because that doesn't harm me in right. any way. And he says, look, please lick my eyeballs. N no, I wouldn't lick his eyeballs. I'm not, no. You're not gonna lick his eyeballs. It's, it's you like, get up in a, like a chicken outfit or a bear outfit. Sure, I would. But you wouldn't do the eyeballs. Correct, Fascinating. Correct. Everybody's got a line. And yeah. on this program, we find out where that line is.